Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about the magnetic field of Earth and find out if the needle of a comp compass does indeed point to the north. So let's get started here. And does a needle point north? Well, not always. So the magnetic the needle of a compass actually points towards the south magnetic pole which means that the south magnetic pole is in the northern hemisphere. So if you imagine a great bar magnet at the center of Earth, it would be the north pole pointing toward our south rotational pole and the south magnetic pole pointing toward the towards the north geographic pole. Now, because of the way the med magnetic field lines work, they come out of the north and into the south, and the things would align along those magnetic field lines, therefore pointing toward the north geographic pole, but the south magnetic pole. Now, the other thing that happens that is important here is that the magnetic pole is not due north, meaning that the magnetic pole and the geographic pole actually are not in the same location, or certainly do not have to be in the same location. And in fact, as we look at them here, here we see where the different poles are. And we have the geographic North Pole there right at the center. And then we have the North Magnetic Pole a little bit above that on this image. And then we also have the geomagnetic pole. Now the geomagnetic pole would be the ideal pole. If we had a perfect a symmetric bar magnet at the center of Earth, that's where the pole would be. But things are not exactly symmetric and the magnetic field does not come directly from the center of Earth, but can be offset a little bit and that causes the actual magnetic pole to differ a little bit from the geo from the action from the magnetic pole from the theoretical value. So why is there a difference between these? Why do we get a difference between the magnetic pole? Well, the magnetic field is very complex. It's not just a simple bar magnet. It's actually a lot more than that. In fact, it reverses direction and the poles will wander a little bit. So in fact, if we look at some of the measurements, we can see those here. So where is the pole right now? Well, look at how that pole has moved around over time. The poles actually wander because of all of the different things going on down at the core of Earth. So currently, we're actually relatively close to the geographic North Pole, which would be where all the lines are converging up here. But a couple decades ago, we were farther away. And a few decades before that, we were actually in the islands of northern Canada and even getting a little bit farther south down here back in the uh, mid 1800s. And then previously, it had wandered around a little bit around many of these islands in the northern portion of Canada. So the pole will constantly change. Now the other thing that we'll have is that not only is it pointing the opposite direction, but the closer you are to the magnetic pole of Earth, you can have a greater deviation. So if we imagine looking at this here, if we are very close to the North Pole, then our compass may actually point away because we're going to be pointing towards the magnetic pole here right now. So the closer they get together, the more minor this deviation is. But at times earlier on, there could be quite a deviation between pointing things depending on where you are actually looking. So if you were from some place down south of here and looking straight up, they'd actually line up pretty well. But if you were way off toward the western portion of North America, way off to the screen over here, then you might be pointing in one direction, but north would be slightly different. So it's something that has to be taken into account. Now, the farther you are away, the less difference this makes, and they get to be relatively close together. And at that point, at those larger distances, really the change is very minimal. So let's go ahead and finish up here with our summary and take a look at what we've looked at today. And what we've seen is that the north pole of the compass will always point toward the south magnetic pole. So that means it's point the south magnetic pole is currently in the northern hemisphere. The magnetic pole of Earth is very different than the geographic north pole. So the geographic north pole would be exactly the axis of Earth. The magnetic pole is off of that. And because of the currents going on in the core of Earth, the magnetic pole actually wanders around and continually changes its position. 
So that concludes this week's misconception that the needle of a compass always points to the north. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.